Today is Friday, February 6, 2015, and Mona, instructional coach, and I are sharing a little bit about today's site visit. Today we had visitors from Eamons School District 33 out in Antioch. There are just about 300 students, a very small school, um, their whole district. And then St. Linus, which is a Catholic school in Oaklong, again similar K-8, around a couple hundred students as well. We visited Heritage Middle School today and Emerson Elementary School. The visitors um, had a lot of great questions for us today. Um, in particular, I was talking to Tony Hamilton, one of the visitors, and we just had a lot of discussion about how do you tell uh, personal stories? How do you get the buy-in? How do you get people engaged to know that this is the right thing? And how is it that there are districts out there that aren't doing one-to-one -one or aren't considering one-to-one? -one? And I talked a lot about differentiation and how it's not just the device that it's about good teaching and that we are doing standards-based grading and you know inclusion and co-teaching and that we you know we're you know we we're looking at what's the best way you know to teach reading the best way to do math and and using the device helps us to differentiate but it's not just about the device for sure yeah he had a lot of questions and so did all I mean particularly the Antioch group, I mean, I was really exhausted at the end of the visit because I felt like I was asking, they, they had really good questions, they were a really right. engaged group. Um, and so I kind of want to talk a little bit about what they were excited to see. You know, when we start off the day in our welcome meetings, we go around and everyone introduces themselves and, you know, we ask them what's something that you're looking forward to seeing. And what struck me, I, I had written it down, um, that one of the visitors said that he was excited to see the culture, like really just, not just like the one-to-one -one in action, just the whole culture of the teachers and the students and how it's transformed school, um, school for us. And then I also really liked um, what the superintendent said out, out in, in Emens. She had said that she was here looking for the start. She wanted to start with the end in mind. So they're just starting off. They have one pilot classroom, and the, the Catholic school that was here, they don't have any one-to-one -one classrooms, but they have some devices, so they are both at the very beginning stages, and she really said, like, we want to start with the end in mind, and I just, I thought that was, I don't know, very visionary of, of her and of, of this group um, on today's site visit. Uh, today was probably one of my favorite site visits all year, if not yeah, good the one. top one tons and tons of teaching happening above above the line. I think just about every classroom was above the line today that we walked into at Heritage and at Emerson. So I know Mona you have a special shout out to give to a, a heritage teacher. Tell us about what was what was happening. So today we one of the classrooms that we were able to go into was Alison Mondrak's class and she, when we walked in actually I didn't even know where she was. Be, right, because definitely not the sage on the stage. It took me a while to focus on what was, <laughs> what was going on because kids were everywhere. It was loud in the room. The kids were down on the ground. They were actually making these um, parts of the human. They were sketching parts of the human body onto big pieces chart of chart paper. Right. They, so someone laid. You know, typically we've done some similar things like that before, where they you know lay down and they trace themselves and then they kind uh -huh. of fill it in. But what she did that was really stepped it up was the kids were actually using the uh, Daiquiri Anatomy 4D app with the trigger and they were using 3D models of the body to um, draw the 2D model. So, you know, they were, they were still at the end, their piece was 2D, but they had this great layered model you know, instead of having, in a textbook, you would see like, you, you would have overlays or you would have six different pages to look at yep. of all the different body systems, right? They are able to just click on a body system on or off and then draw it. And then, you know, when one of the groups I talked with is, um, I said, oh, which system are you doing? Oh, circulatory. Huh, that's interesting. And the kid goes, look, like my arm like this has the blue lines on it, just like in the app. 
And then I was like, do you know why they're blue? Some are blue and some are red. Like, why are the blue ones blue and the red ones red? No, I never thought about it. Oh, let's look that up. You know, so then this whole conversation entail, ensued about, you know, oxygenated blood and non-oxygenated blood. And, you know, and, and you could tell they had already done some research because they had those speech bubbles. And uh -huh. so it was very well done. And it was awesome to see that she's using the augmented reality because, and the visitors were blown away. Oh, what? Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, yeah. What? What? Oh, yeah. And, you know, and so that was really cool. So great job, Allison and Allison's class yeah. of sixth graders. That was awesome. Uh, well, my shout out goes to some third grade teachers at Emerson, Jenny Bless and Jill Stoutler. Sorry, Jill. Um, so I walk into, we walk into their classroom and the students, I, I quickly, I'm engaged with a student, I believe her name was Carly. I said, Carly, what, what are you working on? And immediately I see that they're in kid blog. And she's telling me about, she's like, oh, well, next week is my half, my half birthday. And so I'm asking her how old she's going to be. So she's writing this whole blog post about her half birthday. <laughs> and then I asked her, I'm like, so who can read your blog? Is your blog private or can anyone read it? Said, anybody can read it. And I said, can, can I find your blog? And go, yeah, anybody can read it. It's public. Anybody can read my blog. She's so proud of what she was writing about. And so then we started asking about, about the workflow and how often they're blogging and all this. So... Then I, I continue walking around the room and she's just like as cute as can be. And I'm having similar conversations with the other kids. And these kids are just going to app away typing like beautiful handwriting, um, like typing skills and with like the formatting, like capital letters, periods, everything. So I, I pushed, I scooted Jenny, um, the teacher, aside and said, Jenny, how long has your class been blogging for? I could pretty much guarantee that she was going to say September 1st. And she said, this week, I said, what? She said, well, I mean, we started like a little bit before break, um, but it was only something, we couldn't get everybody on, but this week is the first week everyone in this class is blogging. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So it was, it was just phenomenal. They were uh, writing for an audience. They knew what they were writing about. They were excited and engaged in, in what they were doing. So great job, great, great job by uh, those third grade teachers. Okay, uh, so I would like to thank... Um, Assistant Principal Jean Suki from Emerson for coming to the debrief at the end. Um, Kristen Caparola from Heritage, representing the middle school teachers and Heritage. Dr. Stan Fields and Jenny Feltz, who um, I just would like to say, uh, Jenny and Heather, excellent job in your classroom. Uh, you guys have really stepped up your game and it's uh, looking good in there. And uh, everyone did a great job at the debrief talking just about how much they love their job and what they do and, and those things. Well, we're gonna end like we usually do with our favorite quote from our visitors. And so our favorite quote from this site visit said that the students were extremely engaged. I enjoyed seeing the unlimited number of applications that can be used to enhance the learning environment. So great job teachers and, and staff over at Heritage and Emerson and we'll see you all the next site visit.